Welcome to the Fabulous 50s and Beyond. Our program today is going to be about the 28th Purchase Area Senior Games. Our guest is Jamie Smith. You stay tuned and we'll and let you know everything that's going on. And he'd say, go with what you got. Start from where you are. Give it your best shot. Keep reaching for that star. Get in the race, keep your own pace, keep moving and never stop. Just go, go, it go with what you got. Welcome back. I'm Jim Pollard, your co-host with my wife, Janetta, and our guest today is Jamie Smith. Jamie, what is your official title? Well, I'm actually a cancer control specialist for the Kentucky Cancer Program, and I cover the entire purchase area, but I also get to serve on the board for the senior games and help plan the events each year, so that's my capacity here today. My <laughs> wife was asking me earlier about the games. I said, honey, they got them spread out everywhere this year. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we try to keep them in different counties and because it's the entire purchase area, so the more spread out the events are, hopefully the more people can find at least one event they can attend. And I think you said that last year you were in charge, wasn't it? Yes, last year I did serve as chair. I did kind of like a little interim <laughs> chair while we um, had to replace a position at the PAD office that Crystal had vacated. And so now they've got a new person there. It's Emily Klum, and she is the senior games uh, chair this year. And so, but I'm still serving on the board and still really involved in planning the games. Well, the board plays a big part in it, don't, don't they? Definitely. It wouldn't happen without the board. It's a 24-member board, uh, so we're always looking for new faces. You know, people rotate in and off the board, but we definitely want uh, people that will get in there and do some work and try to come up with new things to obviously recruit more seniors into the games as well. I guess the most attended event is the opening day, right? Of course, yes. Yeah. That's the big day, the opening day, and it's kind of a fun day, but then also a competitive day. And But that's always the first Monday. And the opening day this year is Monday, May the 6th. Correct. And we'll be back in Paducah this year. Back in Paducah at the, is that called the Sports Complex? It's called the Paducah Regional Sportsplex. Okay. And that's the one out there past the mall, uh, like you're headed out towards the airport. It's near the new school, isn't it? It is right across the street from where the new school will be. Yes, and um, this year what we've done is a lot of the fun games and some of the competitive games will be there at the Plex, but uh, the track and field will be moved this year to Heath High School so that the runners will actually have a track to run on. Uh, last year we used just that parking area around the sports plex, but um, it's better if we could have a track to run on. Mm -hmm. So Heath High School has been generous enough to allow us to come out there and do that. So that will happen first thing Monday morning, and um, then those people that want to do track and field can go to there and do that at the high school and then immediately come back to the sports plex for the rest of the events until... What two. time will the track events actually take place? We're actually going to start those early. It'll be at 8 o'clock that morning where we'll do registration on site there for those that are doing track and field. And then each event is staggered in 30-minute intervals to allow them to be able to do each of those it, there. It starts off, doesn't it start off at 500? For the running. Oh, mm -hmm. I believe they have uh, 50 meters, 100 oh, meters. 50. Yeah, oh, okay. so it's some shorter ones too. So, yeah. yes, but... Uh, the brochure will have them all listed on there, and they'll be able to check whichever ones they want to participate in. So, so that that's the field and, and, and track events at Heath. Right, and that'll include um, the broad jumps and the shot put as well. The fun games will be at the center. Yes, and a few of the other ones like basketball will still be at the sportsplex, the softball throw, and those are still considered some of the track and field events, more the competitive ones where you actually get the medals. The fun games where we give out the ribbons at the end of the day, those are all at the sports plugs. Okay. So, so uh, with that breakup, like, are you going to provide the transportation or do they have to provide We're it? We're not. They'll need to go to the sports plex or to Heath High School at 8 a.m. that morning first thing and check in. And then they can drive themselves back to the sports plex. The opening ceremony will begin at 9.30. The opening ceremony will be at the Sportsplex? Correct, at 9.30. At 9.30, mm -hmm. okay. So that's that's good to know. Uh, also, um, will they have their, their lunch at the Sportsplex? Yes, we will. We'll have lunch there provided, 
and uh, we're still working on all the details with that, but um, we're going to do some type of bag lunch so it'll be easier to hand out and they can just come in at their own convenience and get those and eat within a time frame that suits their needs so that they can still do the events and then still come in and eat whenever they're hungry. Bingo at the Sportsplex. Bingo at the Sportsplex at 2 o'clock. The massages at the Sportsplex. Oh yes, massages will be there from um, I believe 10 to 2. See, I know what the popular things are. <laughs> oh yeah, Mas massages are wonderful. Yes, they yes. do a great job. That's um, the Sun Touch Enterprises from right. Mayfield. They come over each year and right. do those for us, and they are fabulous. Yeah. I always tr make, manage to make that in my. Yeah, agenda. I think a lot of people try to squeeze that in for the day. Yeah, there are certain things that are really popular in the. And so we just want to make sure they know where they're going to be. Yeah, those but chair massages those, are nice. Yeah. And uh, then on Tuesday, the swimming, and where is that going to be? That's actually going to be at Murray Calloway County's um, Hospitals, their wellness center, which is kind of diagonal from the hospital. And we're moving that to nighttime uh, for that one. We've done it before in the day, uh, but we're trying to get, you know, the senior games are for anybody 50 and over. And unfortunately, a lot of seniors 50 to, you know, 60 or 70 are still working. That's right. Uh, so we want to be able to make this offered to them as well. So we have moved that particular event to the evening so that more people have an opportunity to participate in that. Okay. And shuffleboard will be there, same place? Uh, shuffleboard will be on Wednesday, May 8th, and it's going to be at the Murray Watch Center, which is actually... Um, near downtown on the square um, and then they're going to provide that'll be in the morning at 9 a.m. and then they're going to provide lunch uh, back at the senior center for those participants as well so um, it'll be um, during the day for that now when the the brochure comes out mm -hmm. it'll have all the actual addresses where yes people and will the be chairs able to find them. and contact numbers so if somebody has a question about a particular event they can look at that chairperson on there and they can call that person and ask them questions okay. most definitely and that brochure should be available by the um, by april 12th at the latest okay and they can uh the, those brochures will be available at the different senior centers Yes, and we'll centers. have them at different um, athletic clubs we'll have them at some churches we'll have them at different agencies as well. Some of the sponsors of those games will have them. And then anybody that played in the games the last two years will receive a one at home. We'll, oh, they will. We will mail them a copy of it. Uh, and they can call PAD? And get a yes, most definitely, yes. Okay. We'll have a bunch there, and uh, they usually leave those out there in the lobby on the table, so somebody could you just walk right into the lobby there at the PAD office and pick one of those up. Will PAD mail them one if they call? Yes, they will. Okay, mm -hmm. and yes. that number is? Um, I do not have that number off the top of my head, um, but it would be Emily Klein that they would need to speak to at the PAD office. And that would be 270-251-6165. Okay. He yep. can read. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Emily will be happy to mail those out to you. And um, then we'll have some here at our office in Paducah as well at the Kentucky Cancer Program. And we're located at 222 Kentucky Avenue in Suite 4. Or you can call our office. It's 442-1310. And we'll be happy to get you a call By the way, well. Pat has an 800 number also. It's 800-866-4213. And, and so they can, they, they can call that too. Well, we've covered basically the first half of the week. Not all of it, though, because no. we, we still got tennis on Wednesday, right? Yes. Tennis uh, used to be during the day as well. And so... Margie Weldon has uh, chaired that for many years for us, and she wanted to be able to move that to the evening time, too, to obviously get some of those younger seniors involved as well. So that's going to be at, um, I believe, 5 p.m. Yes, 5 p.m., and it's going to be in Mayfield at the Scott Thompson Tennis Center, which is um, pretty much across the street, too, from the pad office there in Mayfield and the hospital. If everybody knows where the hospital is, um, it's just a little bit farther up from the hospital. The only problem is it's outside. Are we going to get warm weather? Well, we sure hope so. <laughs> no control over I hope it doesn't <laughs> snow in May. Uh, April maybe, but hopefully yeah. not May. Yeah. And the golf tournament will be in Paducah? Yes, it will be at Paxton Park here in Paducah on Thursday, May 9th. And it's going to start at 8 a.m. It's going to be a shotgun start. And lunch will be provided. Uh, Texas Roadhouse will be coming out to cook for everybody that day. Oh, that's nice. That should be nice. Yeah, yeah. that would be nice. And uh, the bowling? 
Uh, bowling is going to be on Thursday night. Again, that's another event that we wanted to kind of move to the evening. We've got a lot of, you know, people that bowl. They bowl in tournament um, things. So we've moved that to the evening, and it's going to be at Cardinal Lanes in Paducah at 6 p.m. I and notice you have that shuffleboard. No, not shuffleboard, but ta table tennis has been brought back. By popular demand. Wow. You know, we listen to the seniors every year. Last year it did go away, and we had a lot of people that requested it to come back. So uh, it, has, it is moving locations, though. It's going to be in Murray at the Murray Senior Center, and um, that is going to be on Tuesday this time instead of um, on a Friday. So it will be Tuesday afternoon at 1 p.m., and um, Dan Cunningham there at the Senior Center, he's a senior there. He's going to be the chair of that. So they can call and ask him for more information. Well, table tennis gets pretty competitive. Yes. Billiards is also a very competitive oh, event. <laughs> I noticed that you have the men and the women's division. I mean, some of the women down there at, uh, at uh, Paducah McCracken County Senior Center, they're pool sharks. <laughs> yes, and I've always heard stories, and so last year I went to it for the first time, and I walked in, and I mean, I saw people with, like, the gloves on, oh, you know, yeah. and oh, yeah. I was pretty intimidated myself, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, so. they're, they're, they're pretty sharp down there. Yes. And uh, uh, so that that's always interesting to see what's going on down there. We went down there and did a show one time. I actually took... And boy, I, they, they were trying to get us to play, and I said, <laughs> no, nah, they're too anxious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, I tell you what, they uh, have a really great pool room down there at the Senior they Center, do. and they take great care of it, yeah. and uh, Gwilda uh, does a great job organizing that tournament for us for right. senior games, and she's got it all organized, and, you know, they know when they're supposed to be in the room and when they're not, and she just eases that off for us, and it runs so smoothly down there. I think we we'll probably ought to make something uh, clear up, something 50 and older, right? 50 and older, yes, and I know that a lot of people, maybe that are 50, you know, they don't want to consider themselves senior <laughs> senior citizens, and, you know, you don't have to feel like you're a senior citizen to be involved in the senior games. Right. We just want people to be active, make it an active lifestyle, and this year we've really kind of changed. Um, it always used to be fit for life is what we kind of thought uh, as our theme, and so this year they've changed it to are you up for the challenge? So. A lot of these events, they're changing. Uh, they're making it more in line with what the state and national senior games are. So uh, there's going to be different levels of difficulty. Example, for basketball, uh, they're going to have different places on the floor for you to be able to shoot from for more points. Same with soccer. Uh, with a football toss, it's going to be a little bit harder distance-wise. And then for the softball throw, they're going to have some lines that are going to be on the field that go out at an angle, and the ball must land within those lines. So. Uh, and those, again, coincide with what state and national games are. Uh, also, I think the, the, the people need to know that you are primarily competing with people in your age bracket. The yes. brackets are bro broken down. It's broke down. down every five years. Every five years. Um, so, for example, it would be 50 to 54, and then 55 to 59, you know, 60 to 64, and so on. And then that's also broke down by men and women. So women compete against women, men against men. Uh, we also do have a division for those that are um, physically challenged or handicapped. So uh, there is a spot for everyone. This is a year I need to compete since I'm 75. I, I there change you go. brackets you'll this year. You'll be the young, you'll yeah, be the young bird. Yeah, I, I change changed. brackets this yeah. year. <laughs> June. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, yeah, I'm 75, I'll be 76 in June. Well, so. I tell you, it's so, so inspiring to see some of those people out there. They come with their walkers, they come oh, with yeah. their canes, they come in wheelchairs. Yes, I mean, I remember one year we had a lady that was over 100 doing it whenever we were over at um, the Civic Murray, Center. I think, or Civic Center, Civic yeah. Center. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unfortunately, she's passed away, but yeah. she was always one that was out there doing, she didn't let anything stop her. and. Well, you know, we have some 50-year-olds that do come out there and compete, and, you know, they're in better health than I am. Sometimes yeah, I think, yeah. you know, I don't know that I'd want to compete against them. I say when you see them coming in with those short shorts on, you better watch out. That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they come in. Some of those runners. They, they yeah. don't want anything to, to, you know, drag them down. You're right. There. You're right. yeah. Well, we've covered it pretty good for the first half of our show, and uh, we'll, just, we'll be back in just a few minutes if you'll stay around. Diseases will be cured here. 
a new form of energy will be discovered here. And here, the first flight to Mars will be launched. From inside this room, the latest social media craze will be created, as will the most downloaded song of all time. And in here, the next blockbuster 3D movie will be made, because great futures start here. It's where the boys and girls clubs, in partnership with Microsoft and Comcast, are teaching kids computer skills in a program called Club Tech. It's just another way we're helping millions of students succeed today, tomorrow, and beyond. Welcome back. I'm Jim Pauley, your co-host with my wife, Janetta, and our guest today is Jamie Smith, and we're talking about the 28th Purchase Area Development Senior Games. And uh, it's, it's interesting that we talk about this because at more and more we hear in the news and uh, reports come out that seniors need to be more active. It's healthy if seniors are active, and that's true, it is. And so this is one way that not only can you be active, but you can have fun while you're doing it because Definitely. the senior games are a fun time. Yes. And if you don't feel like you can uh, compete uh, competitively in track and field, hey, they've got cookie stacking and clothes <laughs> hanging and uh, horseshoes and soccer kicking, uh, egg tossing with uh, fresh eggs. <laughs> and if you don't catch them, you get a mess. <laughs> uh, we've seen them covered with it. But there are other fun games. What are some of the others that, you know? Well, there's marble shooting. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people like that. Uh, I think cookie stacking is probably one of the most popular ones you said. Yeah. But there's like a beanbag toss, too. Um, there's golf putting. Um, there's, um, you said soccer kick, softball throw, football throw, basketball. One of the fun things is when the men get involved in the clothes hanging. <laughs> we often said sometimes it might be fun because, you know, we, we may need to get new clothes. They've kind of been around for a couple of years, but we <laughs> said this year maybe we should make everybody iron them and then hang them. <laughs> and then hang them, iron them, and then hang them. That yeah. would look better. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and that's what I mean. It's, it's a fun time. And uh, you get lunch provided and you get mm -hmm. a T-shirt. And the registration fee is $10, right? Yes, this year the registration fee will be $10 for those that live in Kentucky um, in, in the purchase area. If they live out of the purchase area or in another state, then it's gonna be 15. But okay. um, that includes a t-shirt. This year they're gonna be lime green and they're gonna have some navy and gray print on them. So you get a colored t-shirt this year. Lime green is very hot. It is, it is. Yeah. We well, try to keep with the trend. <laughs> well, let's, let's talk about uh, some of the other things like sponsors. Some of the sponsors I know that have been there year after year after year. Yes. One of them, of course, was SunTouch, right? Yes, they volunteer their time every single year to come and give those massages. So they do those for absolutely for free. Um, they, they donate their time. And um, so, I mean, that's just a great um, opportunity because, I mean, you know, to have to pay for those definitely. And they'll be, be on Monday at the sports complex. Monday at the sports plex, that's right. Okay. And they'll be there from two to, or from 10 to two, sorry. We'll also have some other people there given some different health screenings as well. So, uh, you know, I know sometimes it's nice to be able to get your blood pressure checked or your blood sugar, cholesterol, and we're trying to get um, some people there to be able to do all that for they'll the seniors. Do, and they'll be doing uh, blood sugar, I guess, again. We're hoping so, yes. Yeah. We um, haven't got confirmed exactly what tests they're gonna be doing yet, but uh, we'll have some. And last year, go ahead. Who's doing this? Well, usually it's the hospitals that come in and do those the for us. The hospitals mm -hmm. all come in. Yeah, yeah. And, and last year, there was a mental health person there. Yes, last year, uh, Lou Words provided their behavioral health mm -hmm. um, person to come over and actually do a screening for that, which mm -hmm. is very important too, as you know, we get older, sometimes our memories don't work like they should or something, you know, and so it's good to be able to screen for those things and be able to find that early. Um, and then obviously too, sometimes as you're dealing with other maybe loved ones that are going through something, depression can hit a person. And so obviously depression can be easily treated and there's a screening for that as well that they can take care right. of for you. 
interestingly enough, uh, over the last year, one of my problems developed was neuropathy. And mm -hmm. who do they send me to? They, they send me to a, a mental health doctor. Right. You know, a neurologist, mm -hmm. because they said it has to do with nerves, which was quite interesting to, to hear about. Yeah. I tell everybody I'm 75, and they teach, think they've got to teach me how to walk again, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, so that, it's good. And I know that uh, and over the years, there have been people who might have had a problem that they didn't know about, that through that testing, uh, right. it, it showed up, and then they, they, went, to, oh, they sure. went to their doctor after that. Sure, definitely. And, you know, there's so many things now that they can do medically for you to help you to make, you know, living a lot easier right, for right. you. It's amazing. Yes, it's, it, really, it is. really is. I do want to say one thing. Um, we talked about the fees, the registration fee for $10. There are a few events that require an additional fee, and those okay. two are bowling and the golf. So if you wanted to participate in golf, it is an extra $35, which includes the green fees, the cart fees, and your lunch. And then uh, they'll also have some door prizes, great giveaways there at the golf. And then for uh, bowling, you'll have a rental for your shoes if you want to get them. A lot of people bring in their own shoes and bowling balls. You know, we really have some great right. competitors there. Uh, but then they will have to pay for each game as well. It's three dollars per game. Okay. You, you said that you really need to have have people. You'd like to have people register. Okay. Yes, we would. Obviously, pre-registration would be great. But if someone were to show up that day then um, that Monday or even if they showed up at another event throughout the week they could still pay their registration that day on site and still fill out a form and compete. Okay. I did say that golf that they really do need the number of people that will be playing. Yes golf. golf is kind of a little different because like they said they're going to do a shotgun start so they already have those pre-arranged for that day and obviously the golf course needs to know how many golfers are going to be there that day and then Texas Roadhouse needs to know how many people they're going to be right for. right right <laughs> Well, that, you know, that, that's uh, exciting and interesting uh, that, uh, that what's happening this year because there is a lot of uh, events going on, a lot of different things that somebody, you know, I tell people that just go there and pick something. Mm -hmm. You know, there is, there is something for everybody to go there and do yeah. uh, regardless of what it is. You might even win a medal. <laughs> That's right. And, you know, there are so many people you see that day leaving that their neck is just full of medals, you know, yeah. and they're so proud of those. And they should be because, you know, some of those, like you've said earlier, there are some really highly competitive people there. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and let me say this also. Depending on what your age group is, you, you might just get a medal by default just by <laughs> participating because so, in some of the age groups, you may be the only one there. As, as I tell you, you're right. Finish, as yeah. long as you finish. And I'm really age 50 and 55 on those Mondays. We don't have anybody really in those categories competing. I think last year we may have had two people. So there's definitely a bronze medal left for somebody. Yeah, but, right, right. You know, so we really, really, really would like to see more um, younger senior citizens out there as well. Well, by changing the time, I think you probably will see. Uh, yeah. Some of them in some of the different different categories in the different games. Uh, you know, the, I think I think the thing that, that that we'll see that might develop from that is though that they are not mentally prepared to act, take part in senior games. Yeah. Well, you know, it's my my look at my dad. My dad, I, I did recruit him to serve on the board this year with us, but. Um, he was there last year, but he, w he worked. He wouldn't participate in the games because he says he's not a senior <laughs> citizen either, you know. And, you know, he's in his 60s, but he still feels so young. He still works, and um, I mean, he's retired from his, um, his career job that he had. But he still, I think he works more now than he did when he was actually working. Now that he's retired, he works more. So, um, you know, it's how you feel. But my dad prefers to be the worker bee. You know, right, he likes right. to do that. So. Even if you don't maybe want to compete, you know, we could always use worker bees out there too, yeah. volunteering their time to help us put those games on because it does take people to do that. Well, you know, I don't think that anybody ever thinks they're old. Yeah, I say you're I, mean, I really do. It's however we talking, young you feel. His doctor, uh, Dr. Carrico, uh, he said that one lady was in his office and she's trying to get up out of the chair. She, had to make, she says, here I am. Acting like an old lady, <laughs> you know, she's in her 90s. She was 92 years old, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's great. But, but yeah. I think that's wonderful because mm -hmm. if they don't think of themselves as being really old, then they'll keep trying to do oh, other definitely, things. Oh, definitely, definitely. You know, you see people now and 
I know when Lady's in her 90s, you know, she still lives alone, still drives herself around. I mean, you know, nothing's, nothing is normal anymore. Well, let me say that one of the goals of this program, the Fabulous 50s, is to get people who have quote unquote retired from their everyday job to get involved and, and volunteer and do something. Right. You know? uh, I mean, we, we've, we've encouraged people to write books or paint or mm -hmm. do sculpture. Or, and, and by the way, if you know, if you're over 65, you can enroll in any state school for free. Yes, yes, that's a good point. You know, I mean, and we've got this great art school downtown now. You are correct. And, and all of these different things, and right here where we do our show, uh, they can come out and take writing classes mm -hmm. or, or whatever and get involved. And you say, well, I, I believe everybody's got a book in them. Mm -hmm. They just got to get it out. Oh, yeah. And, and you know, so there's just all of this stuff is where they can get involved and get involved helping here. Uh, mm -hmm. because it takes, it takes a lot of people to put this on. Oh yes, it does. And I think that's a great point you made. I mean, it's, it's great to keep your body moving and to stay active, but it's also great to keep your mind moving. Right, right. And it's always great to learn something new. Right, right, it's important. They can also pick up packets at the Senior Citizens. Yes, every city, Senior Citizen Center will have the brochures and those should be there um, at least by the third week in April. Mm -hmm. Well, Jamie, it's been good and we are out of time now. Okay. <laughs> But it's been good to have you here again and talk about this. And, and people, we want to encourage you to take part in the senior games. They're fun, as we say. They're, and you'll meet, you'll meet new friends there. And you'll also have a lot of life, you know, a lot of fun and things that go on. So we want to encourage you. Remember the date again. It starts uh, on May the 6th, opening day, and goes through that week. Uh, there, we will put up on our website, thefabulous50s.net, a schedule of activities also. Last year we were able to scan and put up a, a, a brochure. We'll have that for and you So too. we can do that where they can actually just print it offline and, uh, and get the thing. And our website is thefabulous50s.net and we encourage you to go there and check out what's going on. We have a blog there and everything. So you be back with us again next week and we'll be talking about something new that involves people 50 and over. As well as I used to Can't run as far or as fast Sometimes I think that the old me Is becoming exactly that But when I start thinking of all I don't have That's when I tell poor me Beethoven was 50 and deaf as a post When he wrote